Good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody to the council meeting. I'd like to remind everyone to please make sure that all cell phones are turned to the all for vibrate position. Also, please be advised our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't want to interrupt y'all's meeting back there. <laughs> I'll start over. Good morning. Welcome to the Gadsden City Council meeting. We do this every Tuesday at about 11 o'clock. Today it's about 11.18. I apologize for the delay. I'd like to remind everyone to please make sure that all cell phones are turned to the all for vibrate position. Also, please be advised our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast Channel 99, at and First, and the City of Gadsden YouTube channel. This meeting of the Gadsden City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Latham is absent today. <clears throat> Councilman Smith? Here. Councilman Avery? Here. Councilman Back? Here. Councilman Wilson is here today. He should join us shortly. Councilwoman Minatra? Here. And Councilman Robinson? Here. We have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Councilman Smith to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you now the humblest way we know how. We come with bowed heads and humble hearts, lifting up today's meeting before you, O oh God. And thank you, God, for positioning us in a place to help us to govern and watch over our city. We lift up our mayor and those traveling with him on this week, God. We pray for those who've already been into the pathway of the previous storm and those in the pathway of the upcoming storm that you would just direct this storm in a different direction. We ask for your spirit to lead and guide and direct us. We conduct the affairs of this city on this day. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you all the honor. We ask it all in the matchless name of Jesus. We pray in all the degrees said amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain the motion to approve the minutes of the work session and council meeting held on October 1st. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the week of September 27th through October 3rd. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Item 7 is proclamations and commendations. I believe we don't have any today. Uh, we also have uh, Section 8, unfinished business. We have none today. So we'll move to Section 9, which is, this is the time and place is advertised to conduct a public hearing, allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of an ordinance assenting to annexation and zoning of property. Tillerson Bend Campground LLC has requested their property located at 341 East Riverside Drive be annexed into the city, contingent on the property being zoned as B2 general business. The Planning Commission unanimously recommended approval of the annexation and zoning. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this ordinance? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? I'd just like to speak. Okay. Can I get up? Sure. If you'll come to the uh, microphone, if you'll give us your uh, name and address, please, sir. I sure will. What's Pardon me? Name? Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. The counselor's asked me something, sir. Oh, I thought, yes, public here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to straighten him out there. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. Yes, it is now. My name is Curtis Lale. I live at 1902 Marshall Street in South Gas. We call it Flatwoods, the poor people. What my question Such is, I'm not for or again, what do they do they bring to us to annex them in? What Gadsden. does what does the company bring to Gadsden? That district you're trying to annex in. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, what Mr. will it help us and what will it cost us? Okay. Uh, Mr. Roberts, you want to answer that? 
or are you are you positioned to answer that? Well, yeah, uh, revenue boils down to money. Am I right? Means revenue. <laughs> yes, sir. And and more land in the city. <laughs> okay, that's what I wanted to ask. But we always remember this: it all boils down to money. Whatever y'all do. All right. And I thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Any other, anybody else wish to speak in this public hearing? <laughs> All right. This ordinance uh, has been presented today for the first reading, and the council will vote on it next week. Um, I, it, but it's been brought up, right, for today? It was a request, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's been requested for immediate consideration today? Yeah. Okay. Um, then... <coughs> I make a motion that we uh, suspend the rules and consider this under new business, please. Second. All right, clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the ordinance today at its first reading, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, we have unanimous consent for consideration. Uh, move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Um, All right. And Mr. President, I just yes. want to add one point of clarification to to Mr. Roberts' uh, remarks. Specifically, lodging taxes is what a campground like this does. Every time somebody comes and parks an RV there overnight, they have to pay lodging taxes on that. And I think this thing's got like a hundred plus RV parking spots. So. By annexing that into the city, it increases the, the tourism dollars and, and the revenue dollars for not only the city, but all of Etowah County. The Etowah, Greater Gadsden Tourism Authority gets their budget from those lodging taxes that you pay if you stay, just like if you stay at a hotel anywhere in the country, you pay a lodging tax to the local government. So that's another big reason about these campgrounds. They generate a whole lot of lodging tax for tourism dollars for the area. All right. Okay, thank you, Sorry. Councilman Wilson. All right, we'll move to item 10. This is a resolution authorizing right-of-way agreement with Alabama Department of Transportation. This is to acquire the property necessary for construction of roadway improvements on South 11th Street from the bridge over Black Creek to Randall Street. This is an MPO project, and the city's 20% share is $40,000. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Uh, yes, Mr. President. Just to clarify, y'all remember several, uh, well, really this goes back two years when we started the process of trying to complete this last section of South 11th Street from the bridge up to Randall Street. And so in order to do that and make it ADA compliant and safe for everybody, we had to acquire some land um, on the opposite side of, of South 11th Street from uh, the Wildlife Park. And <clears throat> part of acquiring some of that land a right away from the Department of Transportation, it also included us having to get an environmental permit from Alabama Power, since Alabama Power has the rights to that water s system right there. Um, and I believe we also it may have even had to get some uh, additional right-of-way access uh, from the railroads. Um, so anyway, long process, and this is the culmination of it. So with this last $40,000 that we're paying uh, the Alabama Department of Transportation to purchase that right-of-way section, now we'll complete the very last leg, like we talked about. Six years ago, we started at Forest Avenue and came all the way to Randall Street with pavement and sidewalks. And then we did the section from Banks Park up to the high school. Then we did the intersection at the high school. And then just a few months ago, we completed the section from that intersection all the way up to the bridge and included an eight foot brand new ADA compliant sidewalk. So with this last section right here, we will now have completed the entire sidewalk section from downtown Gadsden all the way to the school and all of uh, that, that section of South 11th Street, past Banks Park, um, all of that will be connected. So anybody basically who lives from Broad Street all the way over to Kansler and Forest 
to Randall can walk to the high school or ride their bike to the high school on nice new ADA compliant um, sidewalks. So this will be the last phase, last step in the process before the bidding goes out. So looking forward to that. Any other discussion? All right, clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item 11 is a resolution authorizing agreement with CDG Incorporated. This is for construction, engineering, and inspection services for the U.S. Highway 431 turn lane improvements project in East Gadsden, and the amount is $44,230. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item 12 comes under first reading. This is an ordinance granting a non-exclusive franchise to Farmers Telecommunications Corporation. This is for construction and maintenance of a middle mile fiber optic infrastructure network within certain public rights of way. This ordinance has been presented today for first reading and the council will vote on it next week. Item 13 is for new business. I believe we have a few items this uh, morning. Yes, sir. I will try to be brief. Um, the first one I have, Mr. President, is from the police department. This is a resolution authorizing a tra traffic enforcement agreement. Um, this is an agreement between the City of Gadsden Police Department, North Central Alabama Highway Safety Office, and the Franklin County Commission for grants related to tra traffic safety enforcement. The terms of this agreement for all grants awarded for the period of October 1st, 2024 through September 30th, 2025. Um, this is uh, something that the Police Department applies for every year in different counties from around the state of Alabama act as um, the overseers and, um, and sub-recipient of these grant funds. So um, that's why you see the reference to the North Central Alabama Highway Safety Office and the Franklin County Commission. Um, I was trying to say, do you recall, Mr. President, what the total amount was? Oh, uh, like 15 to 25,000. Seems like. The amount will vary. It'll vary. Yeah. That's right. That was discussed during pre-council. I'm sorry. So uh, essentially, it's one large fund, and and depending on how many different agencies apply for it, that determines how much the grant will be. So, long story short, as a long-standing rule here, um, when it comes to grant dollars, Mr. President, if yes. there's no objections, yeah. I'd like to spend the rules and get this money as quick as possible. Amen. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Uh, Mr. President, the next one I have is from the Finance Department. This is an ordinance authorizing TIF funds for expenditures related to U.S. 431 turn lane improvements. Um, we had just uh, taken action during the regular council portion of the agenda um, on a companion piece of legislation for this, but essentially this moves the funding necessary to complete that project um, from the TIF. TIF fund and the total amount of the project is three hundred and thirty nine thousand and ninety eight dollars. Um, so again, this is on four thirty one and this will directly impact the location of that the the new Whataburger restaurant. So if there's no objection to so we can keep that project moving forward, um, I'd like to suspend the rules and consider this under new business, please. So moved. <clears throat> Second. Right, clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the ordinance today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? We have unanimous consent for consideration. Move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Uh, the next one I have, Mr. President, is from the Engineering Department. This is a resolution approving an agreement with Tillman Consulting, LLC. 
to assist the city with right-of-way acquisition for the Agricola drainage project phase two. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many parcels this includes. I think there was nine total in that project over there. Uh, so I'll say 22. Oh, is it? Well, just in the last round, I saw there was at least, I think, I thought I saw there was nine tracks, but it may be 22 total. Um, anyway, this is a third party company we use to negotiate with property owners to purchase sections of right of way so that we can improve the drainage all there around the Agricola Shopping Center, which everybody knows has been a an issue for a long, long time. So the cost of this agreement with Tillman Consulting is $139,250. Um, and again, they will be responsible. You're right, Mr. President. There's a total of 22 parcels that, uh, that they will work on acquiring the right of way for. So um, obviously we all know how badly that drainage project is needed so if there's no objections i'd like to suspend the rules and consider this under new business Second. clerk will you take the vote those in favor to consider the resolution as an item of new business let it be number saying aye aye, aye. those opposed consent has been granted move to adopt Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Thank you, Mr. President. I got a couple more. Uh, just point of clarification, too, though, on that last um, matter that is being funded with ARP funding. That's from the American Rescue Plan funding. Okay, um, the next one we have is from the mayor's office. This is just a little administrative cleanup. Um, you know, last week we uh, created the um, Gadsden City Youth Council. Apparently one of the members that was appointed last week actually had a conflict that they did not realize until after the appointment. So this is um, a action requested by the mayor's office office appointing members to the Gaston City Youth Council. Uh, this would appoint Miss Ella Wade for the 2024-2025 term. So if there's no objections, I would like to ask us to suspend the rules and consider this under new business. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Oh, replacing. Did I misread that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Point of correction. This action actually appoints Angela Connolly to replace Miss Ella Wade for the 2024-2025 season. I apologize. Thank you, Brett, for the clarification. Uh, the final one I have, Mr. President, is from the Public Affairs Office. This is a resolution authorizing an agreement with REPT to provide a web-based platform to engage questions from residents with video answers from the city, provide analytics based on video engagement, and provide email marketing capabilities for video content. The cost of the contract is $12,000. This was budgeted expense um, for the public relations or public affairs department. And again, just to clarify, this is a, a software that is used where citizens can pose a question to their elected officials that question is routed to the appropriate department, and that individual responds from that department with a video answer that they post, and then the citizen will get a notification that the response has been posted. Um, and, and so it's a really cool tool. Anytime you have a question, why does the city do this or why aren't they doing this, you go into this platform and you plug in your question and there may it may have already been answered by somebody else and there's a video there to explain it or if it hasn't it'll be routed to the appropriate department and you will get a video response it also allows them to push those videos out to citizens who are interested in receiving emails about information on upcoming events or projects that are going on uh, so it's just another of the many ways over the last couple of years that we've tried to modernize 
our public affairs office and modernize the way we communicate with our citizens and the way citizens communicate with us and the way we get the message out and solve problems. So you, you know about the Hey Gadsden app, you know about now this rep is another layer of it. Um, so anyway, with that in mind, Mr. President, if there's no objections from the council, I'd like to suspend the rules and consider this under new business today. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. i move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Did we do this? This assenting to the annex? Yeah. Okay. yeah we did that. That's all I have, Mr. President. All right. Thank you, Councilman Wilson. All right, we move to section 14. It's department reports, committees, or boards. We have any today? No? <coughs> All right, seeing none, we'll move to section 15. This is citizen request. Uh, Joseph Cole is asked to come speak about sidewalks on South 11th Street, toilets at Carver, and EPA disappointment. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I will be very brief, and I know you'll be happy about that. One of the matters I wanted to speak on was the sidewalks, <coughs> excuse me, on South 11th Street. I suppose been here last week and I had a family emergency. And I think I want to be clear that Councilor Wilson have just cleared that up because two, I had a number of parents to call me and two kids almost got hit walking to school. So that's when I had wanted to come and talk about the sidewalks and nobody knew if it was money was there, if they're going to have any sidewalks. But I think you made that plain this morning that there will be sidewalks going through South 11th Street. If you don't mind, Mr. Ch could he repeat that? Because I want people looking to know sure. if there are sidewalks involved in this. Yeah, I, I want to be clear. We just recently, within the last three months, completed a, a I, I think it, I don't want to misspeak, it's about a mile section of South 11th Street where we put an eight foot wide ADA compliant sidewalk all the way up in front of Dollar General and the Tabernacle Church right there. Mm -hmm. So now there's only one section of South 11th Street that doesn't have sidewalks and that's that one little hill and they're right. I mean, I share the concern. It's been a concern of mine for a long time. Um, it's it's not so I'm not happy with it at all. But it's that one little switchback right, that comes right. down the hill right there right. in front of the wildlife park. It's about 300 yards of of section of that sidewalk that we've got to get fixed, okay. and then that'll complete the entire sidewalk grid again. Somebody will be able to get on a sidewalk right here at City Hall and walk all the way to Gaston City High School without ever getting on the road. Okay. Without ever, and, and we got about a 300 yard section left to go, and that whole thing will be complete. Okay, thank you very much because yes, I know it's very you. interested in that. Okay, that takes care of that. This second matter that I had planned to speak on, you cover most of this. It's been a whole lot of talk the past two years about the toilets at Carver. All we want, I want to make that clear today, you don't have to bring in new toilets, you don't have to do any of that. If the building is open, allow the citizens to use the toilet. That should take care of that. You don't have to put nothing new over there. You don't have to do anything. But long when the building is open, you don't want it still open. Nobody has to use toilets 24 hours. The only usage we are asking that when the building is open, the, then people are allowed to use the toilet. And that would take care of that matter. The third thing was on the disappointment with the EPA. Uh, there's a building a business over in that area, and we've talked about this, that is really, I think, a danger to the citizens over there. You have a number of senior citizens, and people don't know what's going on. They don't know. EPA came, showed up for a few minutes. They called a meeting. A number of citizens attended that meeting, including myself. The EPA did not show up. We haven't heard anything else, and I know people say, well, you don't have to call the EPA. But I think the city has a duty because whatever it is, if there's a danger, if it's poison or whatever, you have citizens over there. You have senior citizens. People could be contaminated. We don't hear anything. The people don't know anything. No one has said anything, and no one has heard anything from EPA. And it really is a serious problem. And it comes up to the fact, it seems like the neglect, that the EPA don't give a damn about black folks because everybody over there is black. 
No one has said anything. The people are sitting waiting to hear. You have somebody out there supposed to be God and whatever to keep people in or out. But no work has been done. We need to hear something from the city, from someone that said we're going to start here. You need to wear a mask. Whatever the situation is, because it's a hazard and it's a danger to the citizen. So I don't know whose role that is. I don't think the citizens should have to do it because these people are seniors. They don't know who to call. And it's a business. And there have been several violations from that business over the past years. So we are just requesting someone to get some answer, some response, so those senior citizens in that area would not be, do they need to wear a mask, if anything need to be done, or whatever, because we're talking about the safety and welfare of those people. So I'd appreciate it if the word can be passed on to Sunday, because it's not a good look, and especially you got all these black folks. Listen, if that place was somewhere that in other places in this city, okay. this would not be going on. Thank you. But because it's over there in that area, stone silence. So we just ask for some assistance. I'm speaking in behalf of the citizens who have called me. Hopefully something can be done to relieve them or to let them know what is going on. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cole. Appreciate you coming. All right, now we'll go to remarks by Mayor and Council. <coughs> Mayor Ford is out today, out of town, but Brett, do you have anything in his behalf? Okay. All right, and Councilwoman Latham is also out of town. Uh, Councilman Smith. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Just want to thank everybody for being here today. Uh, thank you, Mr. Cole, for voicing those concerns and uh, continue to lift up our council and our mayor, staff, and all department heads. Um, just another good day of government. So thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you. Councilman Avery. Yes, Mr. President. So I have a uh, – shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, tomorrow – godly – I'm gonna just have y'all go look at Gaston State uh, Community College uh, website. Tomorrow is a tailgate uh, that's uh, being held on Valley Street, and I, I don't have the time, and I apologize for not having that, but uh, you can look at uh, my Facebook page, either 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 one, or go to Gaston State, uh, the Valley Street campus. There's a tailgate, community tailgate. They're asking for anyone and everyone to come out, and uh, there'll be live music, a lot of things going on. It's a, a tailgate experience. So. Uh, if you're available uh, during the uh, uh, times that are listed, please uh, check them out. I um, want to do these two here before I get on that hot topic. Um, community yard sale Friday and Saturday, October the 18th and 19th, uh, 8 a.m. until the American Legion Post 322. Uh, they're on uh, North 8th Street, um, and so they're inviting the community to come out and kind of do a organized yard sale. Um, just another community event to gather everyone together and kind of um, do some fun activities there. And then uh, we'll skip that and get right into it. So as it relates to the EPA situation, um, thank you, Mr. Cole, for bringing those um, concerns to the attention. Um, to all the residents that have a concern uh, that are in District 3, um, uh, here's my number, 256-613-0901. And I know there have been some things going around and stated uh, on uh, that, that is um, not fair to the community as it relates to uh, my representation. Uh, but nevertheless, we'll handle that as it comes. Um, another thing is, is that uh, we have been in contact with EPA since we've been known about this information, uh, or known about the situation, rather. And uh, so I have not taken control of it. Uh, it, is, it. It is still in the administration hands. However, I didn't want a 30-day update. I wanted an every week update. And so those are the only difference that I asked, and I have received that. In receiving that, so we are at the point where uh, uh, EPA, has called a meeting. They have got in touch with uh, the parties uh, to take care of that, uh, uh, the venue space and things of that nature. So please join us, the EPA, with support from Gaston, uh, Etiwall County EMA. will have a public meeting about the cleanup plan, October 15th, 2024, 530 through 630 p.m. at Mission Baptist Church. Uh, today, myself and a team uh, of, of people will be walking and handing these out door to door. I have a, uh, a handful of, uh, of these uh, fact sheets here, and we will be handing them out uh, 
um, uh, to the residents in District 3 that is in close proximity of Tetris. I will be on foot. We will be on foot. If there anyone out there would like to help, uh, please do so. And we will go exactly and tell exactly what's on this fact sheet. There will not be no in addition or subtraction from it. Uh, but it has been known. Uh, it's been on the uh, social media website. Uh, there was a meeting even today uh, as it has been uh, uh, weeks leading up to this from the time we have known uh, but we do want to let this community and the citizens know that there's a fact sheet that will be uh, that has been mailed out to you I'll have I have some extra ones and again if you have any additional uh, uh, information or concerns give me a call on this fact sheet as well you can um, find the uh, contact uh, persons uh, that you too can um, uh, reach out to as it uh, as you had uh, if you came to the meeting on Thursday uh, after we have found out about the situation. I'll leave it at that. Thank you, Thank you Councilman Avery. Councilman Wilson. <coughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I did want to make a couple of comments about the EPA uh, tech tricks thing. I think Councilman Avery did a great job of summarizing it, but we do have a fact sheet. I have seen statements um, by the mayor condemning the EPA's slow out of the gate response. He did make a public press release and say that he wasn't happy that they were not being as responsive as they should. But they got a meeting scheduled. All this is going out. And the one thing that citizens will be happy to know, again, Councilman Avery covered most of this. But this form that's gone out in the mail and that is going to be handed out has the direct contact information for the EPA on-site directors who are in charge of cleaning that site up and their public relations uh, department. So you can reach out to them directly via phone or email. Um, and, and again, just to set <laughs> everyone <clears throat> somewhat at ease, in my conversations with EPA, because it's scary to me too, I said, Put this on a scale for me of, of one to ten. Ten being I've never seen anything like this before in my life and one being we deal with this every day. And what the EPA director told me was that it was about a three or a four on his one to ten scale and that they were currently working on three other sites in the state of Alabama, in North Alabama, that were old metal etching businesses that had this same chemical that had not been disposed of properly. So I don't know, I'm not trying to tell you it's not a problem or it is a bigger problem. I'm just relaying that's what EPA relayed to me was that it was a, a three or a four and that there were several other active plants in North Alabama that they were working to clean up as well. So I'm hopeful that they'll get it resolved as quickly as possible. That's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Minatra. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the newly formed Gadsden Arts Council um, will host their first annual event called Art Oberfest. That will be a week from Thursday, the, the 17th of October from 6 to 8 p.m. It's going to be held in Alabama City on Wall Street. Um, it will be um, sanctioned off. We will have food trucks and we will have entertainment. Um, the Gadsden State Show Band will perform along with the Downtown Dance Conservatory as well as part of the, the cast from the most recent event at the Theater of Gadsden at the Ritz, um, Beehive. They will be performing as well. So this is our first event and we're excited about it. So a week from Thursday from 6 to 8. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilman Robinson. Nothing from the mountain up there today, huh? All right. Appreciate that. I uh, wanted to say about the ARP funding, Councilman Wilson alluded to it a little bit. Uh, that's the money that the city received from the federal government, uh, the uh, ARP funds. We, uh, that came in during the last term, and so there was a, a effort to decide how to spend that money. This administration, new administration and council, has decided to honor those projects that were on there because most of them had already been in, in progress. And so there's a time limit on when you can spend that money. So you had to get to work really quick. Uh, our city engineer and his department, Heath Williamson, worked very hard to get all those projects lined up and, and encumbered and get that money spent in time so we don't have to give any of it back. But we've uh, intentionally put most of that money into the infrastructure of the city of Gadsden you know, Gadsden is an old city, founded in 1846. A lot of our infrastructure that you 
that we don't see that's under the ground are, is, is very old. Uh, we're constantly digging up clay pipes, clay pipes that yeah, sometimes the clay pipes aren't even there anymore. It's just a hollowed out dirt pipe. And so uh, it, it does cost a lot of money to replace that infrastructure to the tune of if we replaced everything at once, it would be in excess of $200 million. Uh, and so that's obviously not doable in a one year time, but we have focused on putting that money where we think it was needed the most. The project in District 3, which is the Agricola project, was just a terrible situation over there with drainage. So over $5 million has been allocated for that project. It was desperately needed. And what, you, what we did today was a, a, a move in that direction to get that project un, underway. So I wanted everybody to know that that money has been encumbered. It is being spent in infrastructure ways that will Im, improve our city. It's one of those things It's not a real sexy spin because you don't see it. What you won't see is hopefully you won't see as much severe flooding or maybe any flooding once the projects are completed. Uh, but just keep in mind that, that has, uh, those projects have been studied and, and looked at and, and help is on the way as soon as those projects can be Im implemented. I want to also uh, address the EPA issue. Uh, you know, that plant has been there since the late 80s. They've been doing uh, electroplating or whatever the, the process they've been doing over there since the late 80s. So this isn't a new problem um, and this, this isn't a, a new situation. Uh, the government, the federal government and the state government has come in and they have taken over that site. Uh, and so we are getting our directions obviously from the Environmental Protection Agency, also known as the EPA, and then ADEM uh, is also working with the, uh, the, Etowah, the Gas and Etowah County Emergency Management Agency, or the EMA, uh, to keep the community safe. So it, it is secure, there is a low risk uh, to the community. Councilman Avery's done a good job of talking to his community and showing up at, at the meetings. I actually attended a Zoom call that was kind of a last minute Zoom call that was uh, held, I think, last Tuesday, right, Councilman? Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. So uh, there are efforts and there are there is an oversight being done, but the city is probably the third rung on the ladder. It starts with the federal government, then it goes to the state government, then it comes down to the really to the EMA. But I can assure you the city of Gadsden is fully aware uh, they've the meetings have been held with the EMA to uh, mitigate any kind of emergencies that 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 could happen so and I appreciate Councilman Avery going to pass these uh, flyers around this afternoon I think that <coughs> would be very helpful to get the uh, the most current information into the citizens hands so if you live in that area uh, over by uh, the Tetrix plant you'll see Councilman Avery and some of his friends will be out passing out the flyers today so thank you for doing that Councilman uh, if nothing else comes before the council, we will be adjourned. Have a great day.